Hey my people, how are you doing? I hope you're having a damn good day. Welcome back to the AC Milan career mode episode number 13, The Clash of European Giants. We have that game in the next one of who we have in the Champions League round of 16. And believe me, it is a great game. So we've decided to go ahead and rotate for that with Marcelo and Herrera starting midfield, Moretti and D'Angelo both getting the start with D'Amico on the bench, given the fact that, you know, we might actually need to use him in this one to rotate a bit and um, our captain on the day was uh florenzi and he opened up scoring with an absolute blinder and um yeah it, you know what sampidora they, they were yeah looking for their revenge after us humiliating them in the semi-finals of the coppa italia in our last game but uh, mike mcgann was not having any of it he was not having anything to go and uh diamico he did come on in the second half and he opened up his scoring account for ac milan a scoring centre back that is something that I would love to have going forward, and he does make it two 0 on the day. Um, yeah, just good good things happening. Good things happening with this youth academy. And um, speaking of youth academy, another great goal from it, produced from the youth academy right there. Beautifully done, set across to Thomas Moretti, and um, he would end off the scoring as things would stand. With uh, Florenzi coming off and. Um, yeah, you know, we had to rotate for our big game. Our big game in the next, or our big game next up. Um, but just very happy that we can rack up all three points. Like, at the end of the day, I don't think we can win the Champions League in this season. I'm going to throw everything I can at it, but I don't think we can essentially win it right now. I don't think the squad is mature enough to win it. So, I think the Serie A title is probably our main primary target for this season anyway. That and, and of course the Coppa Italia, because we are in the final for that. But um, as you can see right here, our big game is against Real Madrid, the clash of European giants. They've got 14, 13 titles, 13 titles. AC Milan have got seven, 20 titles between the two giants of Europe. Um, we are resurrecting a giant. Um, Real Madrid, they've been an absolute behemoth, killing everybody on their way to 13 champions league trophies so it's going to be a tough test and the first game is at the bernabal um eden hazard returns to the bernabal there's so many storylines to write and it is and honestly it's, it's an amazing immaculate looking stadium one that makes your the opponent very scared the santiago bernabal moments are made in the stadium you can see it and as you can see all the other games that are happening in the, in the round of 16 Liverpool they got into Milan that could be a game and a half but speaking of game and a half we did get a game and a half from Eden Hazard who uh, returns to Bernabeu and he was out to show that Real Madrid made a mistake in selling him and not giving him a chance to try and and repay them for that 150 million outlets that they that they paid for him for, from, well, for Chelsea well when he was at Chelsea I should say I, I can't even I'm tongue-tying myself up here but um yeah, Real Madrid, they didn't appreciate them going down 1-0. And I mean, it was a stunner and a half from Hazard. But uh, just before the break, they did make it 2-1. Thanks to goals from Benzema and Asensio. So, yeah, it was a bit frustrating because I thought, like, it, at the very least, could have gone in 1-1. I mean, as you can see, there's a stat saying that they were very much the dominant team. The expected goals on our end of things were just not there to be had. So we had to change a lot of things up. We did have to change a lot of things up. And um, that would start with an Eden Hazard click and um Salamak is just throwing everything he can at it and it goes past the Belgian goal stopper in Thibaut Courtois. Um I was very shocked that that goal went in but I was also at the same time very happy because 2-2 two -two on the night that's great um and, and we, we can take that back to the San Siro and hopefully defend that and, and make a goal um the fans will be on our side and everything so yeah you know I was quite happy with that how things stood but I was also very nervous because Real Madrid, they're a very good, competent team and uh, one that you, you can't play games with at all. So, yeah, <laughs> they got a very big corner here. And of course, it's Asensio to whip it in. And at this moment in time, I was just trying to just clear the ball out as fast as possible. And uh, yeah, things just seem to be working in our counter-attacking game for the, well, at the Bernabeu, I should say, because... I was waiting for Hazard to make the run on the opposite flank, but he did not. Gave it to Zlatan. Zlatan eventually finding Eden Hazard. Little ball roll in, out, moving, 
moving circles around the Real Madrid defense. And uh, he's got a brace now at the Bernabeu, showing the, the Bernabeu faithful that uh, they're missing out on some absolute talent and a half. And speaking of talent and a half, can we just appreciate that absolute insane ball from Theo Hernandez up that left hand side to get the ball to Eden Hazard, who smashes it in for his hat trick? Can we appreciate that, people? We have a hat trick hero on the day, and we have a two goal lead going back to the Sands hero for the second leg. 4-2 on aggregates, 4-2 on the day. It was meant to be. I was I was very happy. Like I did not expect us to do so well. I, I expected us to try and win. But the work that Hazard put in a goal or well, an assist in three goals, amazing. And every shot he took was on target. Every shot he took, he scored. So it just goes to show like you can't write a player off. It doesn't matter if he's had a few injury problems. If you put him in the same or if you put him in, in the environment that he'll flourish, it doesn't matter, he's gonna flourish. And I think at Madrid, he didn't have that environment and he literally just showed them right now on the Bernabeu pitch. that If you create a team around me that suits me, I'm gonna lead your team to great things. And he did that today in this game. So I was very happy with him, very happy with his performance. We take the, the two goal lead and we, we move on though. So yeah, but he was, he was a great player today, absolutely great player. And um, hopefully that means that we can progress to the quarterfinals of the Champions League in our first season, of course. Oh, shaky moments, shaky, shaky moments. But you know what? We move. And um, just the, the whole team performance, though, I know I've, I've been harping on Hazard, but the whole team performance was absolutely phenomenal in that game. And um, leading into the Inter Milan game, the Milan derby, of course, it is at home. I say that very loosely because both both games are at home but it is a home fixture for AC Milan we've kind of rotated a little bit with the Tomori in the defense um, along with Herrera starting with uh, Tonali in the midfield and as well as Moretti who gets his first Milan derby goal right there sit through for for or well, from Eden Hazard and just taps it home beautifully Salamak is he's as happy as can be Herrera and Tonali though in this game were just men on missions. They won every ball, they won every 50-50. They did not take anybody's shit in this game. Salamakis slides it across to Eden Hazard. Belgium International, so Belgium International. Straight out of Belgium, that goal. And um, yeah, you know, we, we ended up the scoring with that final third goal because we did not score many others in this game. We had, we created chances, we had chances against us. But unfortunately, we couldn't score many more. And to Rebic, I was really happy that he was able to give us a three-goal lead. But um, like I say, that's where it ended. And it's not like we didn't create chances because we did. We created quite a few chances. But unfortunately, we could not. And uh, getting one of our first free kicks in the career mode in the series, I thought, you know what, Hazard from distance, it could be a thing of beauty. Um, and also, I did notice that Moretti is fairly decent for taking free kicks. So maybe we see a few free kicks taken from him because essentially I don't really like Eden Hazard's free kick stance it always throws me off that it's like such an angular run um whereas Moretti doesn't have an angled run-esque type per se but anyway we bring on Marcelo to finish off the game he would start at center back or come on and play as a center back for us but we would run out 3-0 winners in the San Siro derby the Milan derby Milan 3 into no Happy days, happy as can be. Um, we did do a lot of good defensive work though. I know I didn't show many of those highlights. It was a bit of a bias game on my behalf. But the Toro Martinez, he did get off one or two good shots um, that McGann was equal to, but I just didn't think that they were highlight worthy, I should say, because they literally almost rolled to him every time. So it wasn't the greatest, but um, I was very happy that our, our boys got the win though. So yeah, we're going to end things off right here, right now. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the sub button if you are new to the channel, of course. Um, cool people sub to this channel, FYI. And um, guys, I hope you have the damn greatest day ever. I'm out.